let's set up Streamlabs Talk Studio, previously called Melon, so you can stream anywhere from your web browser. So we'll start on talkstudio.streamlabs.com. You can try this out for free, but we're going to use the paid version. If you want to try the paid version, $9 off. My affiliate link's in the description. I do recommend using a Streamlabs ID, so click Login with Streamlabs. If you don't have an account, click Sign Up and make a Streamlabs ID. Once you log in, you'll be sent to the studio. You might have a pop-up in the top left. Make sure you allow Chrome or your web browser to use both the camera and the microphone. And you might get some tutorial pop-ups like this. I'll just click allow. And if you want to double check you've got the correct microphone and camera added, you can click this camera icon in the top right and head into the settings by clicking manage. Alternatively though, you see at the bottom it says stop video. I'm going to click the arrow next to it. It's added my wrong camera underneath video input. I'm just going to click on the list and select the correct camera. You can see on the left and here, it's now got the correct camera. Because I have the paid version, I can also increase the resolution to 1080p. And before we add ourselves to the live stream let's check our audio next to the mute icon i'll click the drop down list again underneath audio input i'll click on the drop down list find the correct microphone which for me is the quadcast and of course make sure you have the correct speakers as well and crucially make sure you're leaving the echo cancellation turned on the rest of these audio settings look fine so let's click out of them now we've got some great audio and video settings let's add ourselves to the live stream we're not actually live of course click on the left click on show stream and here we are this is what our viewers would see now typically people either want to show their screen or add guests so if you want to add a guest on the left just click add guest and just send them the link they should be able to join that from most devices and if you want to share your screen click on share at the bottom by the way again if you're a pro user click the drop down share in 1080p make sure you're in high quality we'll click the share button anyway got various different options but i'll choose screen might get a warning like this i don't want to see it again so i'll click i understand we get various options on what to show i'll choose entire screen and i'll clear out my third monitor and i'll click on the monitor depending on what you're showing if you're showing a video you might want to check share system audio as well i'll click share and you can see we now have a nice dual view and you can click along the bottom to change what it looks like just find the view that works best for you now you'll notice all along we had our settings open so that is the settings button on the right Again, if you're a pro user, make sure you have 1080p turned on. Play around with any other settings. These ones have worked fine for me. And of course, right now we have a black background. So let's click on design. And underneath background, I'm going to click show more. And we can choose any of Streamlabs' background. Let's choose this green one, which adds some nice leaves. You can also upload a logo on this page and add a nice little foreground as well. If you want even more decoration. When you're happy with the way your stream looks, let's click back into settings and click on account settings and click onto the destinations tab and just click add destination and add every single streaming platform you want to add. You can see it even lets me add multiple YouTube channels with the paid version. Again, you can use my affiliate link to get $9 off. You can literally add unlimited streaming platforms. So we're ready to go live. So I've just click on chat and we just click on go live. Once it pops up, you'll be able to just choose whichever platform you want to go live on. Depending on the platform, it will prompt a few different settings, such as a stream title. And that's it. You're now streaming to whatever platform you want from your web browser.